What's going on, everybody? It's time for my review of Adventure Time Finite Resource Wars! Okay, so I actually saw this movie on Sunday, um, <laughs> so like a week ago. Uh, I tried to record this review uh, on like Tuesday, I think. I uh, went to edit the footage on Wednesday. Oops, turns out the entire thing was blurry as hell, so I can't use any of it. I could have probably, it wasn't too bad, but I was like, ah, I'll just goddamn redo it all over again. So here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna do a non-spoiler review. What is that? What is it? And then I'm gonna make a second video being a spoiler review. Um, I mean, this is the first time I'm ever reviewing something on my channel, so if you like it, let me know down in the comments down below. Show your appreciation by liking. <gasps> so without further ado, let's get right into the review. <laughs> Alright, so first of all, it's a very like, I, I went to write down here, I'll even show you, look at, you see, these are notes I, I, I took for the movie, but it's not like, I, I've tried to do this kind of stuff before, like Star Wars, The Last Jedi, and it's where I went to the theater with pen and paper, wrote out down everything, but this movie, I didn't need to do that. And I, it surprised me, I was like, okay, well let's try to write down everything I remember about the movie, and as I was writing, everything kind of just like, fit together very well, and it flowed very, like, good, like, I never really even noticed during the movie, but th just writing it down made me realize, like, wow, everything just kind of, like, nicely flows into each other, so it's very coherent, and I mean, that's the first praise I'm gonna give it, is, uh, it's really no surprise everyone else is saying this, and it's very true, it's very justified that, uh, considering how many characters are in this movie, it is insane that it is not just a giant mess, of what the hell's going on um it is very 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 like well put together and i mean that works because they put like all these characters in different um categories together so it's not like you know oh let's go see what thor's doing oh let's go see what iron man it's like okay let's go see what this set of characters doing let's go see what this set of characters are doing. like it takes some time for people to get together obviously but it's it's done pretty quickly it's done pretty well so this movie actually picks up right after ragnarok which actually i didn't see coming i guess but it makes sense because at the end of ragnarok no spoilers obviously but you know thanos ship appears so it makes sense i would take off right after that first scene is amazing and probably one of my favorites in the films to be honest i thought it was really cool um, it's really good. Uh, obviously I'll go more into depth in my spoiler review, but, uh, it's very, it's very intense to say the least. Thanos is incredibly scary. That's another thing a lot of people are saying. Um, Thanos, like, when I saw the trailer for Infinity War, I was like, oh no, I had the same fear everyone had. Oh no, he looks like a thumb. He looks like Homer Simpson. He looks like Homer Simpson. Uh, but uh, he... I don't know if they change anything, I don't know if he just looked dumb out of context in the trailer, but he looks really good in this movie, the CGI is great, um, he's, he's very formidable. But as you can imagine, being like in an Avengers movie, all the fight scenes are amazing, uh, 10 out of 10 mostly, um, except for a couple, but once again, I'll go more to that later. The jokes are mostly funny, there's a few jokes that kind of feel like they go on too long to be honest, but all the jokes landed pretty well. There are a few times where things like, it's such like a long movie and it's so much stuff going on, it's like, they make a joke kind of trail on a little bit too much and it makes you go, come on, we have better stuff to do! <laughs> Which I guess that's just their attempts to like kind of slow down the pace a little bit, but it's like, when there's so much to do, it's like, you, sure, have some funny jokes, but, you know, tone it down a little bit, at least on the length, like dwelling on something for anything really just kind of ruins it a little bit. That's the thing as well, like, there's definitely some scenes in the movie where a character comes in for the first time. It's like, oh no, what are we gonna do? And then someone, like, it's like, I'll help! And they're like, what? And it's like, you know, panning shot of, here's these amazing characters. But it's like, <laughs> if you've never seen, like, one of the movies, it's like, what's going on? <laughs> of course this movie is put together as if you've seen all the other movies, but just, like, having it just a standalone movie by itself, it just, it feels a little, like, it's, it's kind of funny to think about someone seeing, like, let's say, like, the, the Guardians of the Galaxy for the first time, and that's, like, their first thing, of, like, oh, wow, help! And then, you know, it's like, why, why is there dramatic music? Who are these guys? There's a particular scene, uh, with a guest cameo, um, it's really funny, you'll probably know exactly what I'm talking about, and, I mean, it took me a second to be like, is that who I think, oh, it is who I think it is. 
I won't say too much since even kind of mentioning, I will say it has to do with Thor's storyline. So if you've seen the movie, you probably know what I'm talking about. But just know if you're a fan of like fantasy stuff in general, you're probably gonna look at that and just kind of giggle to yourself. Cause it's like, of course this actor is gonna play this particular character. Of course, no, literally no one else could. I wanna comment on, um, cause it's not just Thanos in this movie. You know, every every bad guy has to have cronies, right? So Thanos has a few um, underlings that are of uh, noteworthy. Um, the one, there's actually one you see in the trailer, the one that goes, that one's really cool. I actually really like the design of that one. He has some cool things he does in the movie. Um, but he, out of all, um, I'm not going to say the exact amount, but out of all, like, the kind of, like, you know, underlings, he's the only one that's kind of cool. The other ones are just kind of very bland and kind of generic alien characters. It's like, like, they made one look cool. Why couldn't they do the other one instead of just making them look all generic and boring? Um, one of the other characters is actually a girl alien, and this isn't really like a con or anything. It's just kind of a funny thing I noticed. So this girl alien, you know, she gets into fights with people. The one thing I noticed <laughs> was she only, only female characters fight other female characters. There's no, like... You know, let's say, um, let's say Thor punching girl alien, there's none of that. It's literally, it's not even just like, oh, what a coincidence. It's like, no, here's three girls, here's another girl. All right, wow, they're all girls, what a coincidence. I think that's just Marvel trying to avoid the potential. You can't have a man hit a woman! Uh, potential controversy. I can't say that word. Controver- con Controver- Con- Con- Controversy. But anyway, I thought that was like kind of, like I said, not a con, not a pro, just kind of something I kind of giggled at a little bit just because it's very obviously like trying to pander to, you know, the, the, the most common audience, I guess, the, to not offend anybody. This particular fight uh, in the movie, I do want to comment on a little bit. The particular scene where some characters get into a bit of a tussle with uh, the big baddie and and it is so amazingly choreographed. It would just like all the different like superheroes like using their powers together. It's really cool. It's really cool. I think that's probably my absolute favorite scene in the movie. As it probably is with a lot of other people as well, I would imagine. The interesting thing I noticed in this movie is there's no exactly any like Avengers assembled moments like there is in, you know, most notably the first Avengers and then Age of Ultron where I mean, they do like a couple of those in Age of Ultron, but there there is none of that in this movie. And it's kind of like it's cool. I, I actually, I actually think I like that better simply because like Marvel and Disney are kind of like switching it up a little bit, which I'm very happy for. If, if something turns into just another Star Wars or it's the same thing over and over again, it's like, it's still good, but you know, you could do better. So I'm actually kind of happy that this movie is very different from the other Avengers movies. In fact, I would say it's probably very different from any of the other Marvel movies, to be honest. It has a much like darker tone to it, and I really enjoy it. I really enjoy like dark and gritty stuff, as someone else commented. I think it was the Red Letter Media said that DC tends to do like the dark and gritty stuff, and yet Marvel is somehow now beating them at the dark and gritty stuff. I don't really say it's a dark and gritty movie, but they're definitely, it gets pretty dark at some points. But going back to the lack of the you know the the hero shot of the Avengers all together um this movie is actually a lot more split up than I thought it would be there's a lot of characters that like never see each other once or interact or anything and I wasn't really expecting that either you think in a movie about a bunch of superheroes getting together you would see that but I mean it, it makes sense to you know because just you can't have too much going on, on the screen at the same time but it's just kind of weird to see I'm gonna jump into a few cons um <laughs> There's a lot of characters. Well, not a lot, but there's definitely a few characters in the movie. It's like, I wonder what happened if this character can't this character beat Thanos by themselves, probably. And you're probably right, kind ma'am or sir, maybe. But they nerf a lot of the characters. A lot of the characters just kind of get like weirdly nerfed for some reason. It's kind of weird. They it went down this route. Another thing is, I don't really buy Thanos' motive at all. The thing with Thanos is, he's definitely one of the better MCU villains, where he's just not, I want to become powerful, I want to become a god, I want to rule everyone just because I want to, I guess. It's like, he actually has a reason, which is cool, and his, you know, he has logic, but his logic is really, like, obviously flawed and doesn't make a whole lot of sense, to be honest. So, that's, that was a bit, it, I didn't, I don't buy it. I don't think it was a good enough reason, in my opinion, for someone, um, like himself to do what he's doing. So, it's a little weird that they didn't maybe put more reasons into why he's doing what he's doing. But it's very cool, he has very specific goals in the movie. And it's not just because he wants to be the ruler of the world universe. 
There's also a particular battle scene in the movie. Um, we'll say the, the, the battle scene you see in the trailer. There's a very weird and stupid decision that's made in it that I'm like, no, that's dumb actually. I'll talk more about that later obviously, but I mean that's kind of another, there's a few things in this movie that are just kind of like, that doesn't make sense illogically, do you silly goose? Then finally, there's always, like faceless bad guys to fight, and once again, the faceless bad guys are uh, not, I mean, they're pretty yikes to be honest, they're not very good. They're just, they're just faceless punching vags, which I guess is fine. It's like, I, I guess you don't need to put in a lot of detail to generic things that are just gonna be, you know, on screen for two seconds and then just blast it away. But I don't know, just like, they just have like the very typical generic alien enemy look and it's just kind of like, I don't know, it's not lazy, but it's just kind of like, it's, it's not very creative, I guess. The only other thing, like, I'm trying to, like, think of, like, what would you need to see before going to see this movie? I think it was, like, what, 19 films in the past 10 years or something, or 17? Something in the mid to high teens. And I'm trying to think, like, how does this movie stand alone? Like, if I have never heard of Mar- What's a Marvel? If you've never heard of Marvel in your life and you go see this movie, you're gonna be very confused. Especially when I was talking about earlier how, like, you know, some of the characters come in and it's like, It's me! And then, you know, pan and music. Um, so if you if you don't know anything about Marvel, which how could you not at this point? Then this is probably not a good movie to start on. But I, I at the same time I don't think you have to have seen every Marvel movie. There's some like ones you probably should have seen, like let's say like the Captain America series, like the three movies in that. Uh, I'd say at least the, maybe Iron Man one and two. Doctor Strange is kind of like, that would help. Guardians of the Galaxy. There's a lot of like Black Panther related stuff in that, so I'd probably say see that as well. And of course, like the other Avengers movies before that as well. But if you've seen the other Avengers movies, you probably are good enough to go in to see this with maybe the addition of watching Black Panther beforehand. Because a lot of the movie is kind of centered around that kind of section of the world, I guess. But besides that, you should mostly be able to follow along with what's going on. But yeah, I guess that's where I'm gonna cap off the uh, spoiler-free review. Um, hopefully, it's kind of hard to do a spoiler-free review because it's like, isn't technically anything you say about a movie kind of a spoiler? Like if you say, it's a good movie! Like that's technically kind of a spoiler, right? Because then you go into the theater with like, uh, adjusted expectations that in that in itself is I don't know it's kind of like a weird like thing that I, I have a hard time coping with trying to figure out what the hell is a spoiler and what the hell isn't so please yell at me in the comments down below if I said too much maybe I was even too vague but um this was a fantastic movie obviously um I would probably say this is my favorite Marvel movie ever yeah it probably says my favorite Marvel movie I'm, I'm a fan of the dark and gritty stuff so I'm, I'm really happy to see um, this movie. So yeah, the spoiler review should be out really soon. Probably the following day, if not maybe two or three days later. So look forward to that. I'm gonna try, you know, it's been, like, I'm, I'm filming this for the second time on a Thursday night, so, you know, you know, I, it's been a week now since this movie came out, so I really gotta kind of pump this out because, you know, people are gonna move on. But yeah, let me know what you thought about the movie down below. Hopefully with no spoilers, you could leave spoiler thoughts on the next video if you'd like. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like. Um, I started a second Discord, for those who don't know, I have a Discord server that you're probably, maybe part of, you've been around my channel for a while, called Unoriginal Craft. Well, that's more for the community of Unoriginal Craft, but I'm starting a second one more centered around, like, just my personal content. So if you're interested in, like, helping me, um, decide, there'll be a link on the screen down here, and also in the comments. Maybe I'll throw a comment down below if you just want to scroll down. And what the Discord is for, um, you'll be able to help vote for, uh, content. If you want me to, like, react to, like, certain videos, you can leave those as well. Maybe I'll react to them in a future video. So if you're interested in that, please, uh, check it out. Um, love you guys very much. Hopefully see it at the spoiler review. And go see the movie, you silly goose! <laughs> <laughs>